I really was not expecting to do this today, but here we are. So next up, we're going to be taking a look at the MP53 Plus Senator Crosscut. I need to clarify something. This is not mine. It's mine. It's me, Dan, the hand you know and love, probably, if you're one of the two people that watch these videos. So, yeah, I got these yesterday. He's cool. I like him a lot. You know, Masterpiece Box, the name, the car, the robot, the back, shows all the things you need to know. There's the three skiddy boys. I feel like the bottom. he should have been MP54 and Rebu should have been the plus because yeah, they, there was actually a toy of Crosscut. And he's an actual character. In the Rebu, comic books. Rebu's, he's just a random person. It's just a repaint that he's, exists. Yeah. He should have gotten the number in my opinion, but how oh well, what, what can you do? It happened. Officially licensed Honda vehicle, which is nice, but why tell you about the Honda when we have it right here? So yeah, that's a kitty that was thrown to the couch just now. Nice looking car mode. I love the silver uh, paint they use. It's really strong. He looks very cool. I like the paint a lot, actually. I really do like it. Nice Autobot logo right there. Looks cool. The um, the transparent blue is really nice. Uh, it's strong, uh, clear plastic too, which I appreciate. It's actually quite a lot on this guy's translucent plastic, but it's, it's strong and it's... Uh, it looks a lot better than it would on a mainline figure. Oh yeah, is there yeah. A, is there a generations crosscut? There's gonna be. He's, he, he, he's gonna be in skids, a. But... He's gonna have a legacy figure next year, but the mask is, is gonna be better. I hear some rattling because, and oh, and look, Honda name right there, city, uh, something there. I don't know what that is. So it's turbo, I think. Probably. Honda logo just right there. It's all blurry. I love how it's this molds like a year old and it's been reused four times. Yeah. <laughs> you can open the door up. The the opening doors and hood is just like skids. There's nothing uh, new about the mold except the head. And even, even the, the even head the, is reboost head. Yeah. So there's nothing <laughs> wrong. There's nothing completely different about crosscut or even the mold. It's just. It just comes with the same scooter that reboost came with. His name, his little name is Clutch. You can just, uh, he stores in the back. You can store the guns too. I'll probably get to that, but, um. Does he come with, um. You open this up, you, uh, get the handles out of there. Spin this piece around. Try not to break the handles because they do seem kind of. They are very thin because they are thin on reboots too. Yeah. Does Close he come up. with, um, a minifigure? No. Nah. No? Okay. Nope. Because Reboost came with a, a clear version of Spike for some reason. So there's Clutch. He looks cool. I like it. I, but I'm, I'm not too crazy about it. He's just like a... He's really just another accessory at the end of the day. Speaking of accessories, you can store all the guns. It's the same way as Skids. I don't know if uh, it was shown the last time with Skids or Reboost. Well, Skids doesn't come with this gun. Skids only comes with that and a blue gun. Oh. Reboost, I believe, comes with that gun, if I remember correctly. I haven't met, I haven't messed with Reboost in a while. So these two guns are pegged together like that, and there's a tab just right in there. You would uh, try your best to get this in there, and yeah, there we go. It's been almost a it's been almost a year since I did a re um, the skid review. And this last gun just doesn't uh, plug in; it just, it just sits there. Sits there. I mean, it sits in there just fine. It's not going to mess with anything, but... Yeah. But, but yeah, there you go. And I'll just take this out right now. Just... I think I might as well get down to transformation while we're taking these out. So you can open this up and uh, just try and get the guns. Yeah. You, you can get one out of there. There you go. Just put this aside. I love how chromey the weapons are on this mold. Oh, yeah, they're cool as fuck. Uh, open the door, slide those out. It's pretty simple. He's one of the easier MPs in a while to transform. Open the legs, slip these out. Bring the knees 
back. Come on, bring the knees back. And then bring them forward. Foots goes up. Bam. Bam. Yay! Bam. I really like this part with the feet. I think, yeah, the that, feet, I think it's the really cool. The feet part's really fun. The arms are where I have an issue with this transformation. Me too, but we will get to that soon. Same way on this side. Bada bam, love that part. Tap that in. And uh, shift the thighs out. Slightly, I, it doesn't go too far, but it does make a difference. It really does, which is which is weird, but it's weird because it well. doesn't go much far, very far at all. But excuse me, but it does make a difference. Ooh, yes, it do. Open the hood up like that. Flip his uh, little mirrors are in there. Close that up. Yay! Then the arms can just finagle on out of there. Yeah, no, this part's always really finicky. Especially going back into vehicle mode. Oof. I found a different way to get it done, but it doesn't change the fact that it's like really it's, weird. It's awkward. Yeah. So are his arms, they're just like really skinny. I mean, they had to fit in the car, but he, he just straight up skipped arm day. Well, good, a good thing Skids is barely in the show, huh? Yeah. Tap these part in the tires. Like that. Hand goes out. Do a whole bunch of flipping. There's one arm. Flippity flop flop. Flippity flopping all over the place. Yeah. And there you go. These little thingies. Go up like that. They, they, they should peg in. And they do a good job at staying in there. Yeah, they do, actually. He's a very, um, this mold's always actually been very solid. It's weird that the mold is actually, like, pretty good. We'll talk about that because there's st I have stories with that in a minute. Flip the head around. Almost done. And there you go. So, and surprisingly, for a modern mass race figure, this doesn't take uh, three hours to do. It took like five minutes. Yeah. So before we get into any of the articulation, um, he's um, Dan here is obviously a friend of mine. If you can't tell, and we talk about figures all the time. Yep. And um, I've been telling him for like a year the skids mold is actually good, and you should get it. And he was like, No, 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 no. I just was not interested in Skids or Reboost at all. But when CrossCut was shown, I was like, oh, well, how about that? And when Burnout, that's the, the black and red Diaclone inspired figure, when that was revealed, I was like, man, I really want that. And so I'm already I'm already gonna get Burnout when, uh, when she comes out like in the summer, whenever it is. But I got and, this um, for him for Christmas. This was his yeah. Christmas gift. And it's a pretty darn good Christmas gift. I like it a lot. And he looks really good. Like, I only know of Crosscut from this, like, this one fan movie on YouTube by, um, TFI Creations. You may have heard of him, you may have not, but he has a fan movie. He's in it. He's cool in it. I liked him. And so the Masterpiece figure is no different. He's pretty cool, actually. I, I really like the look of him. Even this, uh, windshield thing behind him it kind of bothers me but that's like part of the part of the design they couldn't really get around it there's no alternative so you kind of so just have that's to not that's one of those things that's not the figure itself's fault it's a character design fault yeah or, or and also the um that'd be like be, getting the, the original skids toy from 1985 for some reason they just left the windshield there and it became part of his character that'd be like getting yeah. mad at megatron for having the gun barrel on his back like, that's just yeah. part of his character design. It's not a figure's fault. Mm -hmm. Speaking of weapons, he's got three of them. Uh, wh which ones did Skid Skids come with? I, Skids I forgot. came with this one and a blue gun. 
we'll get we'll get that's, the uh, in a minute. Oh, that's different. Okay, so these two are weapons that did not come with skids. I think it's Rebus that uh, had one of these. But yeah, th there's one of his guns transformed. It's really chromey. It reminds me of the... Uh, and this figure in general, it just reminds me of the um, the old days of MP with uh, Prowl and Real Deck and he, stuff, where they were where they were kept like really he simple. Would, he feels like he belongs more in that era. And as, I as, feel as, like they did that on purpose. They could not get away with charging a hundred something dollars for a skits. Especially Nobody with ha, with how simple the transformation is and how uh, like real life the. Um, vehicle mode is because it's not like a straight up cartoon car or anything like that it's just um you know it's simple have you gone over the articulation yet i haven't but um we'll get to the weapons later i guess head goes up pretty like all the way if you if you want to be a monster about it yeah head on you can't get it out it rotates looks down like not really at all, you flip the doors back like that, full 360. He can he can move his arms like just all the way up like this. He looks kind of scary that his arms are so mobile like that. Uh, bicep, really good bend at the elbow. Wrist can do that for transformation, but you can do it. Fingers open. The index finger separate, but it doesn't. He can't point, which is kind of stupid. Because if you have an individual index finger, you should be able to point. It's weird, like, um, because MP01 had individually moving fingers. They couldn't bend. It was just, like, eh. It was kind of, eh. I mean, it was, that came on to us in yeah, 3, he, though, so that was acceptable. It, it's like Nowadays, he, had a, he had, like, permanent Lego hands. But again, it, that, that's fine for a 2003 mold. 2021 mold... If you have an individually moving finger and wants to point, you're better. You were better off just having the whole hand be one piece. Yeah. And it's not like he. Uh, it's not like any of these guns have a trigger on it. No, because they plug in there. Yeah. And do the arm, and then his hand wraps around so, it. And there's no uh, illusion to make it look like he's uh, about to click on the trigger of a gun. So it's just weird. Like either go, just go with like his fingers open. No individual finger, or just like add a add a add a bend, a add a point. Because maybe making points. Otherwise, but, it's just. <laughs> oh well, I ramble on. Waist swivel, but it stops at a certain point, which is weird. I don't know what, but uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know what. He, it he ratchets up all the way, but he can't Wait, move hold on. back. Wait, hold on. waist swivel stops. Yeah. Hmm. So skids can rotate all the round. We'll, we'll, so, we'll, we'll talk about skids in a minute. Yeah. Thigh rotates, it's all the way around. He he he's got a good bend, but he can't kneel, which kind of sucks. But oh well. Uh, oh, you can you can just break his leg like that because that's healthy. If you really want to, if you want to be a monster. His feet can uh, move forward, up like that, down just a little bit. Doesn't have much of a pivot, which is weird because there. I'm I'm looking. There's. A, I looked earlier. There's nothing that should really block him from having a wider pivot, but it gets the job done. It's not as bad as uh, the Hazlab Victory Saber, because I love that set a lot. As you guys may have saw in my review, I just did, but it doesn't have a huge ankle pivot. So, yeah. But that's all you take relation. He. Uh, it's standard. He gets the job done. It could have been, could have been better, but could have been a lot it's, worse. It's too. not bad. So his weapons, they all plug in the same way. So you got this gun, which uh, the instructions call like a grenade launcher or something. It can plug in on his arm at the at the side like that, or as if he's holding the gun, but he's not, which is weird. I just prefer to keep it at the side. Same with this uh, double barrel gun. I have no clue what it is. I don't remember what the instruction call it, but it looks good. And then his uh, last weapon, this is the one that Reboost, Reboost comes. comes with. Reboost comes with this one, too. Yeah. We'll bring those two out in a second. You can uh, flip this little handle down. Plug it at the side. Looks good. Or you could flip the handle out 
open his hand, plug it in, close the, fin clo close the fingers. And that, that looks good too. I honestly like having it at the side more, but this is more stable just because there's a little uh, nub sticking out from the handle. So to, to make it easier to pull out when it's pushed right. in, but I don't know, Either, both, both work. This fits better, but I like how the other one looks. Well, let's Mine's get the, the three Honda City Boys out here. So here we have Skids, and here's Reboost. So the cool thing about it, and I, know, I didn't even notice this till I saw him, all their chests are different. His Autobot symbol's hidden up there. It's like his right, all right like, under his chin. His is all front and center, and his is to the side. So that's actually kind of a cool detail I didn't even think about. Yeah. Center, side for some reason, and just right under his chin. So um, here's the thing about this mold. This is my hot take. Um, of the three, I think he looks the coolest. Oh, yeah. But he has the most with him. So he's actually, if you just want the mold... He's probably the one you want to spend your money on because he comes with the most stuff. With like one extra, one extra accessory, accessory but it, it's it, still it's, more it's for just the same a, price. It's just a clear version of Spike. So I mean, it? if you have Optimus or Bumblebee, then I guess you don't need it. If you don't, and and you're really desperate to have a uh, not good at all Spike in your MP collection, I guess go with this guy. But realistically. The best bang for your buck is this guy. He has the best paint. Realistically, though, if you're one of those who wants just characters from the show only, you have to get skits. Yeah. But if you're going on appearance, it's going to be cross-cut. I have a soft spot for Reboost because red's my favorite color, and I like the Optimus Prime aesthetic. But if you're just looking at them objectively, I think cross-cut looks the coolest. But... Most mm -hmm. recommended, it, it really depends on who you are. If you want the sh if, one from the show, him. If you want the one that comes with the most, him. If you want the coolest looking one, him. It really just depends on who you are as a collector. I would not me, get all three. Me per me personally, I would just say go for Crosscut. You can you can ignore Reboost. I mean, I mean I, again, it, it depends on a different person, but like I think Crosscut is the best it's probably the one that people will, would like the most if they had all three because i mean who even remembers what skids ever did in the show we nobody don't. he didn't do anything me personally. and reboost he was just a toy he, he was he was a masterpiece the toy yeah no reboost never existed the mp hmm well how about that but crosscut he's like he, he's the best all around in my opinion He's just really cool. Me, personally, I don't want to old, own this mold three times. So I'm probably not even going to bother with Crosscut. He and he and I will own this mold twice. Because he's got skid reboost. I'm going to get... I'm going to get Burnout when she comes out. So I'll have both. And eventually the two of us will have... All four collectively. All four, all four of these, which... That's insane to me. I'll be, it'll be strange, but... Oh well, it's gonna it's gonna happen. Well, um, I guess Victory Saber was not the last video review for 2022. Um, this may this may be I don't know yet. Only time will tell. Because I don't really have much I want to really review for the rest of the year. Not really till Trailbreaker comes out. I'm probably not getting him until about January. Mm -hmm. So, but yes, I will be getting Trailbreaker and Jetfire. I will be reviewing those guys. I s and then whatever else is coming out the MP line, you know I'm going to get it because I have a problem. Yep. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this review of Senator Crosscut. Uh, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Holidays all around. If Christmas comes after or before his next review. Yes. Yeah. So. Which it probably will, because I can't see myself doing another video. Another figure video review. Maybe another blog, but not another video review. So, mm -hmm. anyway, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys stick around for more reviews, and take care. Peace.